We just developed a slow cooker for Beautiful, which is the kitchen line that uh, I created and designed um, with all of the people that I work with. And a slow cooker is something that I'm really passionate about because there are recipes that can entail a whole lot of business before going in the slow cooker, or there are some where you can literally throw it in, turn it on, and come back to a gorgeous meal. So I'm gonna demonstrate one of those, and Pilar is gonna demonstrate the dessert version. Mm. This is so revelatory. I never think sweet when I see mm -hmm. slow cooker. I always think savory. Yeah. So you are blowing my mind and also showing again the versatility of this mm -hmm. gorgeous slow cooker. Now I'm gonna demonstrate a slow cooked pork carnitas. This is a recipe near and dear to my heart. Okay, now here's what I'm gonna show you how to do. First of all, you're gonna put your meat directly in the slow cooker. So. I am using a pork shoulder. I have cumin and oregano in here, and cumin is truly one of my favorite spices. Um, it's pretty much in most things that I'm obsessed with. I think it's all over our recipes in the book as well. <laughs> so you're gonna take that spice and work it through the meat just to flavor it. And then you're literally going to throw it in your slow cooker. It's rogue piece, watch out. <laughs> watch out for those little rogue pieces. And if there's any that you missed, just right in the slow cooker, grab it, salt it, that. continue to stir. Now, part of the seasoning is also the salsa. Um, this is something I created because I love tomatillas. And usually when you get tacos, it's a red or a pico de gallo. Mm -hmm. And I love a nice green verde salsa. So Ooh. this is so simple. It is literally garlic, onions, tomatilla, cilantro, jalapenos, and the secret ingredient is a little bit of beer. Ooh. Um, it just gives <clears throat> it that extra flavor profile um, that uh, really, really does it for me. Um, literally, that is it. Now you can cook it low and slow um, for six to eight hours, or you can kick up the heat a tiny bit and actually like on a medium or high, and that reduces your cooking time down to four to six hours. And come back to a gorgeous meal with incredible texture. Can we get to taste? Now, one of the things that's so important is to get that restaurant style quality. You gotta get that fork out and shred it. So don't be scared if there's still some chunks in place. That's totally natural and normal. You can get two forks actually and go at the same time in sort of that formation. And then you can put your little fixings on it the side. It smells incredible. And um, I noticed we have a little pickled onion here. Yeah. That really works well with this recipe. Also a little, I know, I'm dying. Cheers. Cheers. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Ooh. And it's all due to some seasoning <clears throat> and some slow cooking. Pilar, your turn. I'm like, wait, I'm busy eating. Hold on. Oh, I kind of threw it to you Hold so I could keep eating. Like